Hello, so nice to have you. Welcome to this new episode of the Venezuelan Diaspora Project, where we will be walking around Barcelona, getting to know some awesome places that you can visit when you come. And you'll get to meet Juan Andres Latouf, who's an entrepreneur in the restaurant business. I hope you enjoy it. Oh, this is awesome. This, as you can see, uh, there's a huge, you know, if, if you walk there's that way, there's a huge park. It's called Parla Ciutadella. Mm -hmm. And it's amazing. It's where you know people actually. There's I don't, a zoo there too. Yeah. 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 And there's there's awesome. I mean, it's awesome. So when you, you come can, to Barcelona, you go to Chihuahua's have burger and then come to the. Oh, you could do that. Park. That would be a great plan, actually. <laughs> I don't know. Twenty years ago, Barcelona was the city where everything was happening in terms of cooking. I mean, Spain was taking over. You know, Ferran Adrià was the the big guy uh -huh. who you know actually yeah. brought all the attention to Catalonia and Barcelona. He's, What's the name of the guy? Ferran Adrià. Ferran, Ferran Adrià. It's been. He was a you know number one cook and, and if you ask me, I've never been a fan of you know uh, who's the best yeah, cook in yeah. the world. I just like I just like an idea. I like I like you know what what a guy does All does right. with with so, his concept. Juan, we made it somewhere. Where are we? Where is this place? Okay, this is Via Layetana, mm -hmm. and uh, right here you got the we here for, Palau uh, de Musica, which is in the back. Uh -huh. It's one of it's huge and it's awesome. La it's very, Layetana, see, La Layetana. Layetana. Awesome. So you have like Las Ramblas, I, I, I don't know the exact names, but you got Las Ramblas so here. I was uh, told this is like the Times Square of Barcelona. Yeah, and this is not even a quarter or maybe less well, it's, there's than a lot of there's no more. Yeah. Like I said before, you, at this time, you probably you cannot work, um, you cannot walk at all. We have my good friend Juan Andres Latouf, founder of Chibuos. Yes. Chibuos. Chibuos. Yeah, that's right. Bienvenido a Barcelona, Juan. As, as soon as we, we you know, we finished school, I, I jumped. I wanted to see if, if, you know, if cooking was my thing, really, because I've always, you know, dreamed about it. I was, that was for about three months. I worked probably 16 hours a day, no pay. So what is Chihuahua's and what do you, what do you guys do? Uh, we do American specialties, comfort food, you know, sandwiches, typical sandwiches and burgers from the U.S. Uh, you know, we do po' boy sandwich, pili steak, pulled pork. Um, we do burgers, and we combine that with craft beer, which is, you know, those are the main two things. And, and is it just one restaurant? No, we got, we got three here in Barcelona, and then we got a, a recent one we opened in Valencia, and we're about to open uh, another one in, in a big mall. The city, I try to, you know, talk to providers, I started to talk to people in their, you know, restaurant business, having their inputs on, you know, what people like. I, I had a, a, a really, a small blog, uh, you know, personal blog, you know, and, and that blog was for me. I was writing and, you know, taking pictures. It, it was all about the uh, dining experience in Barcelona uh, combined with music. I was always talking about music and also Barcelona dining experience was all about, so. And by the way, we're walking towards one of the restaurants in La, Ra La Rambla. La Rambla. This close La to Las Ramblas is uh, the, the neighborhood's called Raval. But after one month, we got one review from one guy. Uh, the title was uh, said, the best, the best pork in the world. That was it. After that uh, article, we got number one in TripAdvisor for... Oh, TripAdvisor for, is huge in yeah, that, right. It was huge at the time. It, you know, now it, it's, it's not so, uh, so big, but uh, at the time it was like the thing. And we, we got first place for about two or three weeks. Uh, and that was that was crazy. We got lines of people for about an hour oh, really? and a half. Yeah, that was, it was wow. out of the, uh, yeah, it, it was crazy. Uh, when I say training business, it's because you need to understand that as a leader or as, you know, as an owner, you have to train your people train every them. single day. And you have to repeat that all over. And that's your main job. I mean, mm -hmm. they, they, are, they are my clients, and, and their clients is the one I used to think they so were. So you're serving through them. Exactly. Yeah. And they're, those are the ones who are on the floor every single day. Now we, we came up with this idea, it's called Cloud Town, Cloud Town Brands. It's, it's a company that was born uh, two months before COVID-19, and COVID-19 was the perfect window for us. The restaurants that do not uh, serve people, they directly, don't have a storefront. it's just yeah. They just do delivery, mm -hmm. and you can have uh, multi brands. You can have many brands in one kitchen, and being operated by you know uh, one, one single operator. 
you, with, you know, with doors closed and you just have market, marketplace or you know, own channels to sell your food. Uh, we were the first restaurant and the first uh, marketplace that, you know, that started in Barcelona uh, probably five years ago. With deliveries? Yeah. Uh, oh, this is my grandma. My grandma here, eating. This is funny. Saludamos. Sí. Hola. Qué casualidad. Hola, qué tal? ¿Cómo está? Chubeto, un placer. Mi mamá Chubeto. ¿Qué están haciendo? Grabando. A ponerlo en internet. A ponerlo en internet. But 60% of the Spanish population, uh, population still orders through a phone. They don't use an app, they don't use Amazon, they don't 60%. know what Amazon is. 60%. Wow. Whole population. So that gives you the margin of growth that we still have in terms of oh, right, right. business A lot model. of green, yeah. Just in, in and Spain, culture right? here is different. You need to think also that, you know, here are, you know, the population is a lot more older. Right. And they're less kids, kids. I mean, there's Europe is, a, is an, it's old, old, an old, yeah. old country, yeah. That's why they depend on immigrants. Yeah, exactly. This is the economy. And that's why this is such a good uh, spot to be in yeah. if you want to, you know, do new stuff and bring new ideas. Because you're always in the past. So if you go to the U.S. or you go to London, mm -hmm. you're going to the, you're traveling to the future. And you bring ideas back, right, and you're right. in the past, and you find them, and it's going to no, be No, no, no. So I was just in Tenerife, and... ¿Quieres la misma? Sí, por favor. Oh, bueno, trae, déjame para probar la IPA para no dejar. ¿Y cuál, pues si quieres darle un chupito, darle un chupito para que la pruebe antes y... Folks that left 70 years ago are coming back now to Tenerife. And their kids who were born in Venezuela are now coming back to Tenerife. Wow. So, you know, maybe your kids will get to... Yeah, definitely. <laughs> ...leave in Venezuela. Uh, I'm pretty sure, and, and maybe... Uh, at the time, it'll be different. See? Yeah. At the time, fruity. It, it's fruity. It's a lot, yeah. It's, it's tasty. It's, it's different. Got, uh, they call it, this is a, kind of like a, class, a classic IPA, mm. but they have some other beers that are a lot more fruity, a lot more, they're different, not so bitter. Mm. That's what they call, they call, uh, they call it juice beer. Juice. They, they're, oh, they're, they're got it, more, got it, got it. Yeah. But yeah, maybe, I mean, I keep an open mind, I think. I mean, it's one thing that I say, if you have kids, give them the nationality. Of course. I mean, don't get me wrong. I would, I would love to maybe That's think it. about retirement. This is the thing, you know, I, for me, retirement is, is a different picture. <laughs> I, I want to retire now. I do not, no, I do not want to, I, I mean, for me, retirement is just dedicating myself to keep working in what, the things that I love, doing the things that I love. Right. I mean, I do not see myself not working. Mm -hmm. I want to die working because I, I, I love what I do, so. Is this an IPA? That's an IPA. Okay. This is an IPA I can enjoy. Yes. Oh.